The 2024 State of Origin series will feature a lot of new faces as many older superstars are predicted to either retire from rep footy or get dropped. Here I give 10 players whom I predict will make their origin debuts for their state in 2024. Number 1 is Ezra Mam. Should a spot open up in the Queensland Maroons, it wouldn't be unexpected for Ezra Mam to receive a call-up. His dynamic performance with three tries in last year's grand final undoubtedly boosts his prospects, showcasing his ability to shine on the grand stage. The synergy he shares with Reese Walsh and Patrick Kerrigan further enhances his chances. At number 2 is Spencer Leniu. The Blues are set to deploy him against the Maroons with one clear instruction, wreak havoc. As a three-time Premiership winner and the 19th man in Game 3 last year, the 23-year-old is now poised for a crack at the Origin Arena. Renowned as one of the NRL's most potent impact players off the bench, Spencer Leniu has the capability to change the course of a game when unleashed, creating needed momentum. Similar to what he did against the Broncos in the 2023 Grand Final. Number 3 is Alafiana Khan Pereira. In his debut season, he demonstrated remarkable speed and a knack for scoring tries. With 20 tries in 23 games for a team that experimented with various halves, Khan Pereira showcased his potential. He was even rewarded a Kangaroos jumper last year in the annual Prime Minister's 13 clash against Papua New Guinea. His inclusion would contribute greatly to the Queensland Maroons in 2024 to have one of the fastest backlines in origin history. At number 4 is Jason Saab. The tall Sea Eagles winger has consistently possessed incredible speed and an impressive vertical leap, qualities that could enhance the Blues' threat on the wings. With an impressive top speed of 37 km per hour last season, his potential debut in 2024 could enable the Blues to match Queensland's pace. Number 5 is Jermaine Hopgood. Evolving into one of the NRL's premier lock forwards, he showcased impressive stats in the initial three months of the 2023 season, averaging 108 running meters, four offloads, and 38 tackles per game. Billy Slater took notice, providing him with a chance to train with the Maroon squad last year. If he reproduces last year's performance, there's a possibility he could make his debut in 2024. Number 6 is Dylan Edwards. As James Tedesco approaches the later stage of his career, Dylan Edwards emerges as a fitting successor. The three-time Premiership winner has unquestionably maintained the highest level of consistency and form among fullbacks in the game over the last four seasons. If he remains in good health, there's no doubt in my mind that he will rightfully earn his debut for the Blues in 2024. At number 7 is Beau Fermore. He missed the whole season last year due to injury, but I anticipate a breakthrough performance in 2024 to secure his debut for the Maroons. As a highly effective attacking back rower, he can seamlessly switch to cover the center position if needed, making him a valuable asset at the representative level. Queensland could potentially deploy him similarly to how they utilized Kurt Capewell in the previous years. At number 8 is Mitch Kenny. Highly underrated in a star-studded Panthers squad but he shined on the biggest stage in the 2023 Grand Final. He was instrumental to Penrith's third Premiership win and proved he can play on the biggest stage. If you go back and watch all the Panthers games in 2023, he never lacked effort in defense and all the little plays to get under the opponent's skin. Those are origin qualities that I'm sure Blues coach Michael Maguire has noticed. At number 9 is Campbell Graham. Despite unfortunate injuries sidelining him last year, the South Sydney Centre has consistently been the 18th man and a presence in the New South Wales camp for several years now. If he is injury-free, he undoubtedly deserves an opportunity in the Origin Arena in 2024, given his stellar performance as one of the top performing centres in the NRL over the past two seasons. At number 10 is Sam Walker. As Ben Hunt and Daly Cherry Evans approach the later stages of their careers, the Maroons must seek a young halfback to guide them into the future, and Sam Walker is the ideal candidate. Playing a key role in the Roosters' journey to the semi-finals last season, Walker might don the Maroons jumper in 2024, given coach Billy Slater's willingness to make bold decisions, as demonstrated with veterans like Dane Gagai. So these are the 10 NRL players I believe will make their origin debuts in 2024. If you disagree or have someone else in mind, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more daily dose of rugby league. Thank you.